I've never forgotten the scene in 2011 of school children who drowned in Japan's catastrophic tsunami. I found their bodies in a gem. They had been evacuated there because it was the tallest structure, but not nearly tall enough. Well, today in the American Northwest, communities are debating how to save lives from a similar tsunami after an earthquake that is overdue. Don Daler reports. During their regular earthquake and tsunami drills, students at this elementary school in Westport, Washington, practice going to the top floor. But with the Pacific Ocean just a few thousand feet away, scientists say these drills might be futile because the inevitable tsunami could be higher than the school. As soon as the earth shakes, get here. Superintendent Paula Ackerland. Scientists tell us it will happen at some point. It's very unpredictable as to when, so we, we need to be prepared. That's why construction workers are racing to finish this vertical evacuation structure, the first of its kind in North America. The shelter sits on the roof of a new school, rising 44 feet high with 14-inch thick walls. It could save thousands of students and residents seeking refuge. Like the Japanese earthquake and tsunamis in 2011 that killed nearly 16,000, seismologists say there is an impending disaster coming this way. 70 miles off America's Pacific Northwest, from Northern California to Vancouver Island, sits the fault line known as the Cascadia Subduction Zone, where the oceanic plate is slowly being forced beneath the North American plate. It buckles. It buckles upward and it gets pushed backward like a spring until eventually, after a few hundred years, it, it just has to let go. For 25 years, Oregon State earthquake geologist Chris Goldfinger has warned of the possibility of disaster. He and other scientists have been collecting core samples of sediment from the ocean floor. These sand layers that you can see mm -hmm. are, we believe, uh, past earthquakes. They've discovered that major earthquakes happen here an average of every 240 years. The last major Cascadia earthquake was 315 years ago. The big one, scientists say, is overdue. There's nothing that compares to a magnitude 9 earthquake that, that uh, North America has experienced in human history. Similar to what happened in Japan, FEMA estimates in that case a tsunami could hit some areas within 15 minutes. Collapsed roads and bridges could cut off coastal towns and major cities like Portland, Olympia, and Seattle, potentially stranding 7 million people. These roads are in red. Is that because they could conceivably be impacted and, and not be passable? Absolutely. Kenneth Murphy is FEMA's regional administrator. Is FEMA ready for the big one? I would never say we are ready. What is the best case scenario for an 8.0? at least 10,000 plus that would be killed, uh, you know, from the tsunami. The numbers go way up with a 9.0 or greater magnitude. They, ter they tremendously go up. We're talking numbers that uh, this nation, I'm not sure, is really prepared to deal with. Some cities in the Northwest require new buildings be constructed to withstand a major earthquake, but most of those laws don't apply to older buildings. Scott, federal, state, and military officials do say they have response plans in place. Don Daler, thanks.